My lord, let me tell you, I am so excited for this video. In the past, I've done a video watching the pilot of Has Been Hotel. I've even done a video watching a bunch of songs from Has Been Hotel. I've also done the same for Hell of a Boss, listening to a whole bunch of Hell of a Boss songs. Even though these shows can freak me out and be weird, I feel like the songs are always so incredible and always such a vibe. So with all the new episodes of Has Been Hotel coming out, you know what that comes with? Songs. And aren't I blessed for getting to listen to them? And aren't you blessed for getting to watch me listen to them? <laughs> Oh. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link for my Discord server, which you should join. I just straight up don't want to delay any longer. Let's go. The first song is called Stayed Gone, which is actually from episode two. Oh my gosh, so early on. Is it like, 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 yeah, he stayed gone. He, or he better stay gone. Back. <laughs> what a start. I mean, I shouldn't expect anything less from Hasbun Hotel. And the way that sound went, I kind of thought that I was going to just get like giant blasting sound. But instead we're getting like a little talky intro. And I, I wonder if the rest of the song is going to have that sort of sound too. I thought he was gone for good too. It's been seven years. So they're talking about someone coming back and it's like he should have stayed gone. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I actually don't even know who they're talking about. Alistair? Welcome home. Okay. Well, it does seem as though we're gonna get that sound going through, but I do hope that it gets big and hype at some point. Although I guess it doesn't need to, it'd just be nice. I'm gonna make you wish that you stay. I was so close. Ah. Oh. Hello to a new status quo. Okay, well, this is just like an evil song, right? There's a brand new dawn. I feel the TV on. I feel like anytime I hear someone say there's a brand new dawn, they're just a villain, just evil. You know, they're trying to like usher in a new age, destroy the world and have a brand new thing. I feel like it's so accurate. Someone says that in a show and I'm just like, yep, evil. Now it's gonna hit. Sort of. A certain has been. That's the name of the show, y'all. So oh, town. they are talking about Alistar, the radio demon. This feels like weird propaganda. Although, I don't know, is an Alistar kind of evil? This sound is so erratic. Oh my god. Oh, I was spot on with some of those lyrics. I said he should have stayed gone. I was I was so close to what they said at the start, but it's pretty much identical to what they just said. Matthew is smart. Now his medium is getting bloody red. Okay, this is kind of a bounce and oh my god, the vocal delivery is so good. <laughs> Why do they hate him? I was, oh my god, I, you know, I, I did say maybe we'll get the talking sound throughout the whole thing. I wasn't sure how well it would work, but man, it, it, it just does. Of a cloud chasing, mediocre video podcast. Hey, hey there. <laughs> Why did I feel called out? I didn't even do a video podcast. I mean, is this technically a, it's not a podcast. I don't know, the term podcast is so vague that I don't even know anymore. Is Vox as strong as he performs, or is it based on his support? This is making me just, I can't, I can't stop bopping up and down in my chair. Please send help. Send to the anti-bop patrol. Or is it based on his support? Hearing his like weird filtered voice too. It just works so well. Here's the sugar on the cream. Sugar on the cream. Sugar. I mean, I know that he's a weird guy, but is that a, he, the, a cream tends to, I guess, have sugar in it, depending on the cream, but are you gonna put sugar on cream? This isn't important. No, it is important, actually. <laughs> he asked me to join his team. Oh, I said no, and now he's pissing. <laughs> uh, why, why does Alistair kind of sound, you know, a little bit, a little bit fruity? I love it. Whoa, we're half time. Whoa. Friend, you've lost your no, keep that going. I love that. Hear that? It's the sound of evil. I'm gonna make you oh, he's turned that around. That's cool. That is that is dope. When I'm done, your status quo will know it. He's gonna like destroy the system. Oh, this will be fun. 
Still can't tell if he's evil or just like an anarchist. <laughs> well, I think that Fox thinks he is in trouble. Honestly, I can't believe I didn't see that lyric change coming from he's gonna wish he stayed gone to I'm gonna make you wish I stayed gone. That just sounds so appropriate for his character. But I feel like I should have been able to pick that that was the direction it was going in, but no. Cause I'm, cause I'm just bad. For the next song, I find the video kind of funny because it's got the words sing along in it, you know, like, oh, it's a lyric video, so sing along. But the song is called Hell is Forever. So it's like, hell is forever, sing along. <laughs> so almost out of time, guess we should get into it. Oh. Damn, that's a lot of eating ribs. Oh, I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time and I feel- I forgot that I liked her. I know how's population is out of control. Out of, uh Oh yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I had completely forgotten what the plot of Hasbun Hotel was. So just in like one sentence, Charlie, I think, entirely reminded me what it is. So that's awesome, thanks. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? She's so cute, I love her. They, they fly down to kill? You can weigh that door, farewell. <laughs> the intense deep breath. Save us all precious time. Hey, if what you're suggesting is letting them climb. That's um, what's his name in 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 Hello Our Boss? Fizzaroli. That has to be the voice actor for Fizzaroli, right? I also can't believe that I didn't pick that he was Beetlejuice in the Beetlejuice musical, but man, his voice is so unique. Climb up the ladder, oh, they'd rather cross the pearly gates. I mean, yeah, wouldn't they rather go to heaven than hell? I love him. Oh my god. It's such a good voice. Yeah, see, man, I find concepts like this so fascinating. I love seeing shows deal with like morality and the implications of like eternal punishment that you see in things like Heaven and Hell. One of my favorite shows of all time is called The Good Place and oh my god does it deal with this. I recommend it if you haven't seen it. I mean, who would want to do cocaine right now? Are you okay? Anyway. But I feel like this setting really allows for an exploration of like who can change and how much can people change? Which was, I think, like the entire foundation of the pilot. Ugh. I love him, but I hate him. Well, it's not necessarily death, is it? It's like the eternal punishment that never changes. Him doing the solo, oh, it's amazing. Cutting all the instruments out, so good. This is awesome. And the change? You know, if people turn down my ideas with such showmanship and incredible performance, then I couldn't be mad. <laughs> Oh my god, that, that note was just so blatant. Why does Hasbun Hotel and this universe surprise me still? I didn't... Have we had a... Have we had a sea bomb before? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the shredding as the door closes, oh my god. Well. Wouldn't that just suck? You go in there proposing a new plan to change things up and do things differently and the guy's like, no, not only is that not happening, but we're actually doing more faster than you expected. We're gonna exterminate everyone. Nothing you can do about it. Soz. <laughs> As I've said a few times, love him, hate him, love him and hate him, love to hate him, hate him to love him and love to... Next song. It's called Poison. Oh my God. I already love the sound of this. Oh my, oh god damn. Uh, that is... Wait. Is... Is this angel dust? Oh my god. I remember in the video where I did Husband Hotel songs, I loved his song. Oh my god. I didn't know that this is what I needed. I didn't know this is what I was gonna get. I'm... Oh, so happy. Man, he's... I guess, okay, well that was actually kind of a cool rhyme. I might be wrong, because it's been a while, but I feel like the last song I listened to of his was maybe a little bit subtle with its lyricism. I mean, no, it was still pretty, um, 
pretty explicit from what I remember. But I'm just so curious what approach this one will take. I should have guessed that this would happen. I should have known it when I looked in Th This feels like a, a, <laughs> like, like a radio hit that I've listened to now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the husky tone. Oh, hit, hit, come on. What the f***? I love the rhythm. Every night I'm living like there's no tomorrow. Oh my god. This is incredible. Um, oh my god. Uh, not only is the beat absolutely slapping, the rhythm going off, but his vocals, oh, I just love this through and through already. No, it's, oh, it's only like two and a bit minutes long. We're already a minute through. Uh, story's gonna end with me dead from your poison. Wow. Well, that's depressing. Oh, it's like how performative he gets, right? Oh my god, please. This is gonna be so good. I would love some harmony layers coming in. This is a fucking banger, god damn. <laughs> it's so simple too, but in the best way. Oh my, uh, unironically, this is gonna go on my playlist. Hot damn. Oh my god, he's like crying. That's, that's so depressing. Also, I just want to put it out there. I'm filling up my cup, but it's always hollow is a anger of a line. It really hits on this idea of like, what's enough? Nothing is ever enough. You always need more. He's just always gonna feel hollow no matter how much he tries to fill that void with like meaningless things or even, or even meaningful things. I think he feels like some part of him is broken. That song was so fucking good and I'm just so like, I'm hyped now. I need to watch like the entirety of this show, man. If you want to see me watch Husband Hotel episodes, let me know because I need an excuse. I'm going to move on to the next song before I spend like the next 10 minutes gushing about how good that song was and just how much I love him and just how incredible everything was. So <gasps> it's new song time. This one is called Respectless. <laughs> Respectless sing along. Don't you dare sing along respectfully. Oh, what's the matter, fossil? Uh, <laughs> to senile, to make a real power grab? Damn, okay. I mean, first off, she sounds kind of bitchy, but I, I guess I don't know the context. Maybe this guy's awful, but I, I don't know why I was surprised by an English accent. I feel like there's been some before, but it was so like, oh, what's the matter? <laughs> you better show some respect. Oh, damn. Check your behavior. That is an... Oh. They, oh, the, the up and down. God. Oh. Why is everyone's voice in this show fucking incredible? Can one person have a single floor, please? Did you expect us to sit back and take your... That's what I was gonna say. Like, she's just straight up insulting someone to their face while presumably wanting something from them. Like, I don't know. It feels like counterproductive. You've got it twisted. I'm not the one who needs <laughs> a new it's honestly so weird. It's throwing me. Okay. I mean. Oh man, the respect. Okay, okay, okay. She brought it back with those vocals. All right. Is it weird that I kind of like her character's vibe? I was uncertain at first, but she's kind of got me rooting for her. I don't know. She just seems confident and fun. I'm certain she's a horrible person, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's damn, she is like straight up challenging them. Oh, uh, that voice as well is dope. Man, she, what is this like a declaration of war? I love her voice, god damn. Okay, well, that is just a. Okay, and is that an angel? Oh, I, I, I kind of, I kind of, oh, damn, okay. Sorry, I, just, I got distracted by the line, why are you avoiding war? That's what the guns you sell are for. Call them out. What was I going to say before I got distracted? Earlier, I kind of made a joke about it being a declaration of war, but actually it kind of feels like that's exactly what it is. That was a productive meeting. Oh. <laughs> 
I was gonna say everyone looks so awkward. I didn't notice Alistair there. And I love that he's the one that broke the silence. That feels right to me. He doesn't even care. He just wants chaos. I feel like over the course of that song, whoever that character is, slowly won me over, you know? I'm now kind of on her side. I feel like she might be in the right. Please don't at me if it turns out she's like some awful dictator that's trying to destroy everything. I don't know that. I don't know the context. I'm just going based off that conversation and the banger of a song. So you can't blame me. The last song we're going to listen to today is called Loser Baby. I feel like all of these song titles have just been like insulting me. So things look bad and your backs are oh, no. the wall. Is this going to be a sad song for Angel Dust? Some dude's going to be like, stop being such a loser. Your whole existence seems <laughs> Damn. I'm hoping he's not actually saying that. He's like, oh, this is how you feel? You're feeling filthy as a dive bar bathroom store. Oh my god. Uh, I hated that, but also, like, damn, that is a hella insult. You've lost your way. That is a beautiful voice. It's so smooth. Just say you're correct. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he, he is just being a dick. You're a loser. <laughs> this just feels like my brain singing to me on a daily basis. Yeah, exactly. Just like me. Oh man, 100%. <laughs> Only one star reviews a Yora. How about a <laughs> rock bottom? Power bottom and rock bottom. Oh my god. But you got company. Oh. Why is that low-key sweet? He's like, yeah, here are all the ways that you've completely screwed up your life and why you're just doing the worst you possibly could be, but don't worry. You're not alone. Me too. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if I'll end up getting at least a little bit emotional in this because genuinely, this is reminding me of my own internal dialogue and just the way I speak to and about myself. Why don't you do the world a favor and swerve into oncoming traffic? No, you don't deserve to die young. Only the greats die young. Oh, now you think you're young all of a sudden. I feel like that's maybe not the point of the song, but also maybe it'll resonate still. There was a time I thought that no oh, one God. Really His voice is so freaking good. The gruesome ways in which I'm down. Oh, yeah, it really is like a solidarity song. But walls down, it can sometimes set you straight. Why is this low-key kind of sweet? I sold my soul. <laughs> and, and, and now it's kind of getting playful. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me this is Keith David. I was thinking that voice sounded familiar, especially in like that deep cadence. I wonder if they have it written in like the description. You know who nailed that? Me, I promise you, I swear to God, I didn't look at who was in the description. I love that. Keith David is an incredible voice actor. I honestly didn't know he could sing like this. He is amazing. Well, that's <laughs> what a way for him to describe himself. <laughs> I love the way he's embracing it. <laughs> Oh my god, the way that Angel Dust is so high-pitched and I don't know the other character's name, Keith David is so low-pitched. It blends so well. Is he like, I don't know, it kind of looked like he was about to wear a maid outfit or something and I realized that that's a bow tie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that does kind of seem like what he does. Oh boy. Oh god damn. His, his, I, 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 I cannot handle that voice. It's so good. Oh my, the harmonies. A loser, but just maybe if we eat shit together. I, oh, unironically, I love this. I think it's actually genuinely kind of beautiful. It's time to lose yourself. Oh no, this might make me tear up. Why is this actually nice? A loser, just like... No, don't ruin it. <laughs> there are so many things I expected this video to make me feel hopeful, emotional, a little bit peered up was not, was not one of them. I swear, man, I could never have seen that coming. <laughs> I loved every song, but like that one and Poison, whew, they stood out. Oh my God. 
I don't know what to do with myself now. Like I have all this energy. What, what, am, I, what am I supposed to do now, y'all? <laughs> well, I know what I'd like to do, and that is watch all of Has Been Hotel. So, like I said before, if that's something you'd like to see me do for the channel, let me know. Because now, especially after hearing all of those, Holy crap am I keen. Especially because it means I get to hear all of those songs with context. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.